Because this man, my goodness, he was devastating. A round of 32. Super heavyweight division has 18 boxers. So he was the one of the men who fought in the evening session on the 14th of April, and he did not hang around, getting his man out of there with less than two minutes gone on the clock. His opponent, Mohamed Wawa, preparing for his first bout of Kielta 2021, having received a bye in the first preliminary round. Well, what a contest we have in prospect here. The opening bout in the super heavyweight division in this sixth Run. session of boxing here in Ring A is between boxers from Spain and Croatia. And the man wearing blue is the Croatian boxer, Josip Koric. 18 years of age, his opponent wearing red, the more compact operator, is Mohamed Ouaoua. 17 years of age, he took a junior title in 2019. Koric comes in as the reigning national champion at super heavyweight as he scores with a good right hand between the high-held gloves of Ouaoua. It really was a blistering performance to score that first round stoppage in the round of 32 by Corridge. There he's looking for the overhand right once again. Well, well rather telegraphed the left hook, which was short by some distance. Good right hand to the body landed by the man in blue. Looking for the left hook was a while, while but it was long. Went around the rear of the head of Corridge. Corridge trying to come forward behind his jab before dropping down and scoring with punches beneath the elbows and a strong right cross caused Wawa to become disorganized. He's now in a neutral corner just above our commentary position and he's being outpunched during this exchange. Wawa then spoken to about punching incorrectly. Corridge keen to step back into the pocket and let his hands go. Just coming off a good portion of the round as we pass the midpoint of the opening stanza. He's been spoken to on a couple of occasions about punching incorrectly now, Wawa. Good left jabs and then a right cross straight between the high-held defences of Wawa. Wonderful accuracy from Courage. Left jab once again, pushing back the 17-year-old. And Courage beginning to get on top here now, a minute to go. And Wawa's got to be careful that he's simply not going from corner to corner was momentarily trapped in his own corner, now trying to goad the man in. Corich obliges and helps himself to another two-shot salvo. Wawa trying to box his way off the ropes. He's su suffered damage to the nose, making breathing more difficult. Trying to unload heavy leather now, but Corich in complete control. And the man in red is becoming ragged. His work is becoming rather languid, and he's being outpunched. He's keen to initiate a clinch just to get some respite. Breathing heavily, and then... Again, that's a more difficult and endeavor, the most natural activity of breathing because he suffered nose damage, and that is why the ringside position has been called to inspect it. So this perhaps welcome respite for Mohamed Ouaoua, but of course it allows Joseph Koric to recover his energy levels as a hard right hand and another one drives Ouaoua backwards. Ouaoua gamely trying to box and fight back but he's coming out second best, and the heavier shots, the cleaner shots, landing from Corich. And again, windmill right hands being swung over, but that was a difficult opening round for the man in red, because the further the round progressed, Corich from Croatia just increased the margin between the two of them. 10-9 across the board in favor of Koric from Croatia, from Croatia, some of the action from the first round. 
Second out to Dres. Round two. Into the second round then, and immediately onto the front foot and scoring with a double jab right hand is courage from Croatia. Backing up is Oa Oa, and he's being backed into the neutral corner and put on the end of stiff straight punches, completely losing his shape. Now he tries to fire back with speculative right hands, but he's not really finding the range. So nothing wrong with his desire. But he takes another solid left jab that jolts his head back once again. Koric has used that shot terrifically. Stiff punch up is the man in blue. And not afraid to, well, that's hitting on the break. <laughs> well, what a calamitous period here by Uwa not protecting himself, looking in the direction of the referee. And while he did so, Koric was helping himself to a handful of punches. Three shots, and you don't want to take shots from a super heavyweight like this without being prepared for them. But of course, you have to protect yourself at all times as an arcing right hook goes around the corner, spearing left jabs, right crosses going straight through the defences of Oa Oa. He's trying to fight back, but he's being outpunched and overwhelmed. The mouthpiece has been dislodged. And again, this is going to buy him some time. Now, all you can say in... Well, it's Corridge's mouthpiece that came out. <laughs> what an inopportune time for it to do so. Because he was in, con this in complete ascendancy. And that's one time it's come out now. It comes out on another two occasions. It's going to cost him a point, which could change the complexion of the contest as he longs out a left jab once again, trying to work his way back in and regain the momentum. That was fully in his favor during that terrific portion of the second round. Wow. Damaged nose being inspected once again. And there you, well, you may have, I can tell you that the referee made a gesture of putting his fist into his palm, indicating that this injury has been caused by a punch. So in the event that this injury causes the bout to be stopped, it will be RSCI. Oh, the breathing of Ua Ua, audible from my commentary position here, becoming labored. The mouthpiece rinsed and in re reinserted. He has got to re-enter the freight. following COVID-19 safety protocols in evidence here. Ensuring that his hands are sanitized, but Koric right back over that front foot and he's scoring effectively with that lead left hand, but look. Oh dear me, oh dear me. Well, wow, wow's problems mounting by the second here. He's being outworked, he's being outpunched and outboxed in this contest. And then he's been given a warning for punching incorrectly with the inside of the glove. So he could well have been on the way to losing this round 10-8 anyway. Such has been the dominance of Koric. And if it is, well, whatever score total he amasses, one point's going to come off it. You can see he's incredibly weary. And that's because of the punches that he has taken. All of the accuracy has left his work. The sharpness is gone. Almost ready for the taking now. Clink, clings on, claims his man, and will make it back to his corner at the end of round two. But my goodness, another torrid three minutes endured by Mohamed Ua Ua of Spain. Corrich in complete control. And again, let's see what these scorecards read, because for my money, that was a clear round in favor of the man in blue. And there it is, 10-8.
for four of the five scoring judges take one away from that eight. It's an effectively a 10-7 round. And with one round to go, well, short of getting stopped inside the distance, Koric is going to crash his way into the quarterfinals of the Super Heavyweight Tournament, courtesy of punch picking like this. His left jab has been really effective. And here's evidence of it. Working his way in behind that most fundamental of punches and following it up with a solid backhand like that. Terrific variety on the left hand as well. Round three. Well, Uwar, Uwar taking every second of the 60 and then some. He's still not got his mouthpiece in place. Remember, he's been spoken to about it being dislodged. So extra respite given to the Spanish boxer. May be able to solve himself for one final rally. Oh, there's another right hand. And well, he's showing distress signals here for my money. Trying to show contempt for the punches, but he's continuing to eat them up. And this is just piling up the points and continuing to drain his tank in terms of energy. And I'm not sure he's going to make it out of this contest. Left hook is a beautiful long shot landed by Koric. Wow, spoken to about punching incorrectly once again. Oh, and this is going to be another warning. Two warnings issued for punching incorrectly. And wow, his mind could well be going walkabout here. He's falling foul, or he's invoking the ire of the referee. He's in with a more experienced, more accomplished opponent, a man who is older. The gum shield has come out again, has it? No, it's the chin strap this time. Well, no. It's the chin strap that needs attention, not the damaged nose. You have to admire the courage of this man. And his commitment, he's been issued two standing counts. He's been put on the end of some terrific punch picking, but he's game, he's committed, and he's remaining in there. This, of course, is the sport of boxing. And it will be a fight, but look at the quality of the shot selection from Koric. Beautiful right hand, spins the man in red on his toes. And I'm surprised the standing count wasn't forthcoming there. Wa Wa gamely hanging on. And again, he's complaining to the referee. Koric helping himself to free shots in the meantime. And I could, well, I think this one should be stopped. Because Wa Wa is being punched all over the ring. Simply doesn't have the energy levels to demonstrate his skills. The referee giving him every opportunity in this weight class, of course. One shot will turn it around more than in any other weight division, such as the weight of these athletes. But look at this, he can't avoid the most basic of jabs. Fighting on fumes now. Winging in overhand, right to left, but there's no technique on his punch selection whatsoever. And this is going to be an exercise in survival for Ua Ua. As we've suggested in super heavyweights, one punch can change everything, but I don't think Ua Ua has got it within him to launch that type of shot. He can barely hold his boxing stance. But again, you have to admire his commitment, his courage, and his conditioning. But this bout could have been stopped at any time in the third round for my money. But again, the referee giving courage every opportunity. A third warning. Well, and look, the mouthpiece is coming out. Just so much distress signals coming from... The man in red, and with three warnings issued, well, this contest is over. Two for punching incorrectly. Third warning issued for holding. It's been a very difficult afternoon's work indeed for Mohamed Ua Ua.
Third round, disqualification, winner is Blue Corner, Josip Korek, Croatia. So a disqualification here at Kielce 2021, three warnings issued against Mohamed Oua Oua. It is Josip Koric of Croatia who goes through to the quarter-final stage. He hasn't heard the final bell in either of his bouts so far. His first place.